Ujjain, India, 1924. Lost pages from an ancient Sanskrit text called the Augustia Samhita are discovered in the city's royal library. While the exact age of this text is not known, some Hindu scholars believe it could date back more than 4,000 years. In it are the collected works of sage Augustia, a disciple of Shiva, and the first in a line of Hindu saints known as Siddhas. Siddha means a perfected one or an accomplished one. These are people who have powers like shrinking to a small size, growing very large, flying through the air. Shiva is generally regarded as being the ultimate Siddha, the first and primordial Siddha. According to Hindu texts, the ancient Siddhas wielded highly advanced technology. The Siddhas are masters of creation. The Siddha Boga has been credited with many wondrous technologies that he is thought to have created long before the advent of modern industry. He is credited with building a steamship, a telescope, a parachute, a locomotive, and also various devices to fly through the sky. Sage Augustia is very important for Siddha tradition as well. He is said to have brought the secret culture and secret science to India. When you read the legends about how Sage Augustia got his knowledge, we hear that he was directly trained by extraterrestrials himself. Dr. Varam R. Kukutnor, a chemist and avid researcher of hieroglyphics, studied the lost pages of the Augustia Samhita that were discovered in 1924. What he found fascinated him to such an extent that in 1927, he read the translated pages before the American Chemical Society in Detroit, Michigan. The chemists were astonished and reached the same conclusion as Dr. Kokutnor had that this ancient manuscript provides accurate instructions for how to make a dry electric battery. The battery doesn't show up in our conventional technology until the 19th century. What the heck is it doing in the Augustia Samhita, the sacred text that was Augustia's personal writings? If Augustia knew how to build a battery, then how can we rule out all of the other marvelous technology that is described in the same document? On March 31st, 2016, author and researcher David Childress met with physics professor Dr. Michael Denon at the University of California, Irvine to put Sage Augustia's centuries-old instructions for building a battery to the test. So we need a well-cleaned copper plate. Okay, so that's the copper plate here. That's going to make one end of our battery. All right, and we need an earthenware vessel. We've actually chosen to substitute that with a plastic Petri dish. All that vessel is, is an insulator to hold our battery. These are transparent, so we can look inside while we do our test. And then we need copper sulfate. So we've got some copper sulfate solution here. It's a liquid and it's blue. That tells you about the copper inside. Okay, and we need moist sawdust. We're going to actually start with dry sawdust, and when we add the copper sulfate in our battery, it'll become our moist sawdust. Okay, and then we need a zinc plate. So finally, the silver-looking plates. Those are our zinc plates. That makes the other end of the battery. All right, let's see how this works then. Okay, so we start with the copper plate. As they said, you put that at the bottom, and then we add the sawdust. Okay, what does the sawdust do? Well, one of the important things in the battery is to make sure the two metals don't touch each other. They have to stay separated or the battery is shorted out. Now we're gonna add zinc on top. Now we're gonna add the copper sulfate. What does that do? So this is our electrolyte solution. It's a key element to the battery. It's gonna cause the chemical reaction that'll take electrons from one of the metals and allow them to flow to the other metal, and that'll give us our current and our battery. Now we're gonna take our voltmeter, and we're gonna check and see what sort of voltage we're getting out of this battery. And as you can see, we've got one volt on the voltmeter. So our battery is actually working and running. Wow, and it, this really validates this ancient text. So what can you do with uh, one volt? Well, with one volt and a typical single battery like this, the cool thing is you have enough energy content that you can lift a person, say a 200 pound person, about 10 meters into the air if you had the right machinery to hook this battery up to. Wow. 
A battery with enough power to lift a person off the ground? Could the technology described by Sage Augustia be connected to the floating thrones that were allegedly witnessed in the chamber beneath Kailasha Temple? Is this further evidence of an advanced society that arose thousands of years ago, during a time when extraterrestrials coexisted with mankind? But if so, what happened to Shiva and the devices he brought to Earth? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest the answers may lie hidden high on a Himalayan mountain peak that is forbidden to climbers.